I need the containment protocols for every altered item or object of power with an audio-related effect. There you are. Did you, uh, did you find those rangers at the formation? I found them. But it's not good news. The Hiss got there first. Lots of them. Oh, another dead team. Jesus. You know, I should have seen this coming. The formation, it's got like a, a pull to it. Things just end up there. I'm sure you saw all the junk from the Bureau lying around. There were a lot of Hiss, Arish. I mean, a lot. Did they get pulled in too? Hmm. Or they forced their way in. The formation is just a big question mark to us. But who knows? You might even find some useful stuff down there. All I know is, we cannot let the Hiss get comfortable. Sounds like you have a plan. Uh-huh. A simple one. You need to find more tokens and clear the Hiss the fuck out of the formation. That is simple. Oh, and I found a file on the formation while you were gone. You take a look for yourself if you want. A lot of the terms in there are way beyond me. <laughs> I don't like to overcomplicate these situations. When in doubt, fucking shoot something, right? <laughs> Real helpful, Arish. <laughs> I try. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Do you remember Mr. Tomasi, the head of communications? The hiss he was changed into showed up in containment, near the turntable. I'll take care of it. That thing's not getting away this time. I've heard reports about his particular use of language and intonation when repeating the hiss babbling. The biological and behavioral distinctions between different hiss corrupted individuals is truly fascinating. I wonder if I could categorize the data. And she's already off on her own thing. I've been seeing these darling presentations all over. Seems like he enjoys the limelight. So you noticed, huh? When he recruited me out of college, he actually came to visit. He interrupted my physics course by shouting, uh, not quite, professor, and then marching down to the front of the class where he proceeded to berate the very idea of laws of thermodynamics. Hey, he's been a showboat all his life. Darling visited you in college? Yeah, he read a paper I'd published, came to recruit me for the Bureau. I accepted and then spent years waiting for access to the confidential research that Darling promised me. And whenever I ask about my access level, he just mumbles that it's temporarily postponed and then changes the subject to the effect of entropy on luck. I wonder who else Darling hid his work from. Marshall? Trench? Have you learned anything about Dylan's condition? Only that he's definitely his, but I guess his chanting made that pretty obvious. You know, interestingly, the words of the his incantation have an average length of four letters. The most common word used seven times is want. The next most common are through and time. 
It's very interesting, don't you think? I don't care about the words. What about my brother? Right. Sorry, I got a little off track. Well, strangely, his tissue samples all look healthy, unlike the other his I've tested. That's good news. Right? I wanted to talk to you about the crazy things I can do. My abilities. I get the sense that they're not very... usual around here. Well, usual and unusual aren't really benchmarks at the Bureau, but for some perspective, Director Northmore once used the floppy disk to send a bowling ball six yards through the air, and that was considered a huge deal. So compared to that, you are most certainly an outlier. An outlier. I like the sound of that. I should get going. Don't let me hold you up.
I guess the Bureau should start looking for a new head of communications. You're listening to America Overnight, now in our 29th year, lifting the veil between fiction and reality. Thank you for staying up with us. I've been getting a lot of calls about this meteor in Sterling, Colorado. There are reports of a large spherical container that crash-landed in a field outside town. Some government people reportedly took it away. Now, we happen to broadcast from Colorado, and Sterling isn't far. I drove down myself to check it out with members of the America Overnight team. I don't need to tell you, it wasn't long before we found pieces of metal debris scattered in a field. Listeners, this is yet another instance of an unidentified flying object, or UFO, entering our airspace and crashing. That the government took away the evidence under cover of darkness only compounds the fact that these are more than likely visitors from beyond our planet, or dare I say, solar system. Head on over to our website to see pictures of the spacecraft pieces we uncovered. And while you're doing that, our sponsors would like your ear. America Overnight will be right back.
I took care of the Tomasi problem. Sorry, I forget he was a coworker. Don't apologize. That wasn't the real Tomasi. He died when the hiss got him. You're right. I just didn't want to be insensitive. Sentimentality is a weakness in situations like these, Jesse. That's Bureau 101. I don't think Emily's in danger of being called sentimental. I should get going. Don't let me hold you up. Good luck out there. 